The photo mode feature is an aspect of video games that I am personally happy more developers are implementing into their projects. CD Projekt Red is no exception, and Cyberpunk 2077 features an incredibly robust photo mode that lets you move your player character around the environment, create jaw-dropping compositions, and most importantly, pose them. A lot of these poses are somewhat generic recreations of the game's cover art, or action shots, or just over-the-top ridiculousness that often makes for a great photo. They even added a selfie pose which comes in handy on more than one occasion during the story, but a lot of them are easter eggs pulled straight out of other media, and today we're going to look at the origins of all of them. So here are the photo mode easter eggs in Cyberpunk 2077. Let's begin with one of the more obvious poses, the Joker stares. As you can imagine, this pose is ripped from the Warner Brothers film Joker, based on the DC Comics character of the same name. Specifically, this references the scene where Joaquin Phoenix's Joker is dancing down a flight of stairs, an image that has become perhaps the most iconic still from the film and has lived on as part of internet culture as a meme. A less obvious pose to place is the talk to the hand pose. Though the phrase is commonly used in regular conversation, the particulars of this posing seem to be lifted from Terminator 3, where Arnold Schwarzenegger takes a similar stand, arm outstretched. You know, I'm kind of surprised we didn't get a thumbs up pose similar to that iconic shot from Terminator 2. Oh well, there's always DLC. The basic stealth pose is called Crouching Punk Hidden Samurai named in reference to the film Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, though the pose itself does not seem to have any particular significance to the film. Similarly, the pose Waiting for Godot is named after the play of the same name, but it just seems to be a normal, idle waiting pose more so than an overt physical reference to the production. In fact, there are quite a few poses that are simply named in a way that references other media, but the pose is not pulled from it. Roundhouse Shot to the Face is named in reference to actor and real-life meme Chuck Norris, and his signature move, Roundhouse Kick to the Face, though the pose is more of a generic action stance than anything else. The Wolf of Corpo Plaza pose seems to be emulating the more generic corporate businessman type, but is named for the Leonardo DiCaprio vehicle Wolf of Wall Street. The Cogito Ergo Sum pose is a generic, passive, thoughtful stance, but named after the iconic phrase Cogito Ergo Sum, or I think, therefore I am, coined by philosopher Rene Descartes. Oh my god, they killed V! is named after a recurring joke from the earlier seasons of the animated comedy South Park, where the character Kenny would be killed in almost every episode before being revived before the next. Interestingly, the pose itself seems to be taken from the Halo series, as it is basically identical to the death pose human characters would take in Halo Combat Evolved once they hit the ground. The Slav Squat pose is clearly a reference to the Slav Squat meme. The meme is not merely referencing Slavic people posing for pictures in a squatting position, but instead them doing so in a comical way or in an unorthodox location. To really get this one right, you have to be wearing a tracksuit, otherwise you are not being authentic. Also, as a company from a Slavic country, I love that CDPR embraced this. In a somewhat more innocent callback, the basic jumping pose is named The Floor is Lava, a reference to the common childhood imaginary game of the same name. This often sees kids climbing on furniture and jumping around, attempting to get from point A to point B without touching the ground because the floor is lava. The V for Victory pose is actually a reference to another video game, 2011's iconic Dark Souls from Japanese developer From Software. The pose is specifically taken from the Knight Solaire, worshipper of the sun and a notably bright and optimistic spot in a world so often bleak and hopeless. Said pose is often also paired with the phrase, praise the sun. Now let's move on to the pose, in the name of the moon I'll punish you. This is the iconic stance taken by Sailor Moon, frequently during her anime and manga. I love that CDPR even got the position of the hands and fingers correctly. Clearly there's a lot of love for Sailor Moon over in those offices. Similarly, V's Bizarre Pose is ripped from the popular JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, a series known for its bold imagery and character design. Like the Sailor Moon pose, this one is almost a one-to-one -one recreation, and I adore it. V Shot First is another pose taken from an iconic part of pop culture, this time from the Star Wars franchise. 
The pose is directly ripped from a promotional photograph of Harrison Ford's Han Solo, and the name is in reference to the Han Shot First movement. In the 1997 special edition of Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope, Han's introduction was altered so that instead of shooting the bounty hunter Greedo in cold blood to save his own skin, Greedo shoots at Solo first, instead implying that the smuggler was shooting in self-defense. This change has widely been balked at by fans, thus the Han shot first sections of the fandom. Both the pose and the name, My Name is V, Just V, are clearly lifted from the James Bond franchise. A popular introduction for the titular spy from the series is Bond. James Bond. And the pose itself is very similar to promotional photography of several actors as Bond throughout the decades. Similarly, I Know Kung Fu was named after an iconic moment from the first Matrix film, where Keanu Reeves' Neo says, I know Kung Fu, before sparring with Morpheus. Though the pose in-game is not a one-to-one -one recreation of any taken during this fight, there are a few similar to it, and the whole vibe of the pose is clearly meant to evoke this scene. The relaxed pose, like one of your French girls, is very similar to the one Kate Winslet's Rose takes during the film Titanic where she tells Leonardo DiCaprio's Jack Swanson, Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. This phrase has taken on a life of its own in internet culture, transcending the film and becoming a meme often associated with or captioning pictures of people, animals, or inanimate objects similarly sprawled out sensually. Be cool, this is a robbery, is also a reference to an iconic film, this one the Quentin Tarantino classic Pulp Fiction. Specifically, this is taken from the scene where Pumpkin and Honey Bunny attempt to rob a diner where Jules and Vincent are eating. The pose isn't exactly like any that the characters take during the scene, but it is somewhat similar to Honey Bunny's pose during her standoff with Jules. Your Breathtaking has become a huge part of Cyberpunk's mythology. During the debut of the game's 2019 trailer at Microsoft's E3 press conference, actor Keanu Reeves was lovingly welcomed by the crowd after the unexpected announcement of his role as Johnny Silverhand. During the presentation, someone in the crowd yelled, You're breathtaking to Reeves, who retorted, You're breathtaking! The pose in game is ripped exactly from this moment, even down to Reeves' unique gait and posture. Also, fun fact, that moment is replicated by the character Carrie Uridine at one point in the game as well. Thank you. You're breathtaking, you. Carrie! You're breathtaking. Both the hard pass and now you're talking poses were lifted from the music video for rapper Drake's hit song Hotline Bling. The two stances together are part of an image set that has become a popular meme format, indicating that someone should ignore one option and instead go with the other. Run the Jewels is a nod to the rap group of the same name, who contributed to the Cyberpunk 2077 soundtrack. The hand gesture is considered one of the group's logos, and has been part of their album iconography since they began working together. Interestingly, rapper Killer Mike in particular is very vocal about his criticisms of capitalism as an economic system, so their music and messaging is especially poignant for the cyberpunk genre. What I'm saying is they're a good fit for this game. You know, with all of the photo mode poses referencing pop culture, I'm surprised there aren't any referencing popular superheroes beyond that Joker stares meme. I mean, that's perhaps the biggest force in cinema at the moment? And I'd love to have a nice, like, superhero landing pose, or perhaps a glowering, overlooking pose so I can pretend to be Batman. I hope they add something like that in the DLC. Speaking of Batman, did you know there's actually a pretty rad Batman easter egg hidden in Cyberpunk? Where you can basically go find the Batcave and claim the Batmobile for yourself. If you want to know more Cyberpunk secrets, go watch my video covering 12 Cyberpunk 2077 secrets and easter eggs I found during my playthrough. What was your favorite pose, and what new pose would you want CD Projekt Red to add in DLC? Let me know down in the comments below, and hey, while you're down there, please do me a solid and like the video if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe for more in the future, or ring the bell if you want to know when new lore, world building, secrets, and easter egg videos are released. You will be the first to see them if you do that. For real, doing that stuff is the single best way to help this channel grow, and I would really appreciate it. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.